Okay, welcome back, everybody. Taking a look at a couple of big earnings reports that are out right now. Chevron came out earlier than we were expecting, but this number is a bigger than anticipated loss, much bigger, actually. They're looking at an adjusted loss of $1.59 a share. The street was looking for a loss of 92 cents a share. And these are some huge losses on just about every measure. Um, some big misses, too. Reve revenue came in at $13.5 billion. The street was looking for $22 billion. We knew these numbers were going to be bad. You know what what happened to oil prices during the course of this, um, that, that, that quarter, the second quarter when this was taking place. But this is much worse than anticipated. It also looks like they took some impairments and other net charges. If you're looking at the actual number, the diluted uh, earnings per share, the diluted loss per share, I should say, it was $4.44. They threw a lot of other stuff into this, impairments and other net charges of $1.8 billion. And that's associated with severance accruals of $780 million and then a gain of about $310 million on the sale of some assets in Azerbaijan. Uh, in Azerbaijan. Um, they also f uh, fully impaired its $2.6 billion investment in Venezuela because of uncertainty associated with the current operating environment. So all of that's kind of like a kitchen sink toward sort of quarter. The stock is down by about 3 percent right now, um, and, and we'll continue to keep an eye on this. Again, we knew this was going to be bad. The street was looking for a loss of 92 cents. On an adjusted basis, the company came in with a loss of 159 Revenue just $13.5 billion versus the $22 billion the street was looking for.